As nearly 225 walkers burst through the door into the chill, the community spirit was evident. So was the opportunity to spend a little bit of time truly reflecting and considering the lives of those who exist in these temperatures, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that is the whole idea of the event, is for people to really relate and be able to raise funds, recognize, bring awareness for those that are either hurt, hungry or homeless in our community. Both Links to Care and the Georgetown Bread Basket work to assist those who need help and will share the funds raised through this event. The chair of the Bread Basket says that they're currently seeing between 600 and 650 people and families every month through the food bank and other programs they support. Halton Youth. Uh, we support the Halton Library, which uh, has an area to uh, present the food. We uh, support three of the uh, senior centers with food for their farmer's market. They also bolster smaller food banks in Halton Hills. This fundraiser comes at a time when the shelves at the bread basket are becoming barer. Simpson shared that there's been about a 50% decrease in food stock since Christmas, and the next food drives are not happening until closer to Easter. It means that some of this money will go towards purchasing food at retail prices. Links to Care is also assisting as many people as it can. Currently, that's about 6,000 individuals across Halton. Anything from helping people with dental care, vision care, people that may need mobility walkers, that may need help with, again, Georgetown Breadbasket, but if it's an emergency food need that they need. So we use the funds to really address some of those gaps within the community where there is no funding. And events like this help with that fundraising. The goal for this year's 5K walk was $50,000, but the total rose to almost 60,000 by the end of the night. It's that kind of community support that both organizations appreciate whether it's generated by an individual or groups. And many of the groups are returning groups. They continuously, year after year, participate and help out and fundraise. People recognize that other people are in need, and so they, they step forward, and Georgetown is very lucky to have that community support. Jason Trout for Halton News in Halton Hills.